Dallas police say a scooter rider suffered only minor injuries when he was hit by a car, but the charge for the driver could be serious for leaving the scene of an accident. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. That driver who police are looking at is Dallas City Council Member Kevin Felder, who's been at a council meeting all day and into tonight. While in that meeting, police seized his Ford Fusion parked outside the meeting as evidence, and they towed it away. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is at that off-site meeting right now. Alex. Yeah, and we just checked back inside, and that council meeting is still going on at this point. Uh, Councilman uh, Felder is still in attendance, and at this point, he has yet to make any public comments about the allegations. Now, according to the witness who called Dallas police, the impact happened around the 2500 block of Malcolm X Boulevard around 1130 this morning. The victim, who is an 18-year-old man, was on a motorized scooter. He says he was traveling in one of the vehicle lanes when he noticed a car coming up behind him. He tried to get over, and that's when he says the driver later identified as Councilman Kevin Felder allegedly hit him with the front passenger side of his Ford Fusion. The two men exchanged words, and then Felder reportedly left the scene. Now, a few hours after the crash was reported to Dallas police, we noticed an ANSI Councilman Felder pacing back and forth inside the off-site Dallas City Council meeting where we are at now. At one point, uh, City Manager T.C. Brodnax talks to Felder, who then walks over and talks to Police Chief Renee Hall, and it's uh, clear she is not pleased. She walks out of the meeting and then a few minutes later walks back inside from the parking lot and then a short time later, a security guard escorts Felder out of the meeting. Felder's car is then towed away from this meeting, and you can see visible damage to the front passenger side of his car, including a dent and scuff marks. Here's what a witness and a police spokesman had to say. I saw the car stopped. I saw a scooter on the, on the, on the street, and I saw a young boy, and uh, it was very clear that that was an accident. I could see that the boy was upset and I heard him kind of yelling and what he was saying to the councilman was to get out of the car. I expected him to get out of the vehicle and you know to make sure that the boy was okay and uh, he did not. He just drove off. It's too early to tell at this point in the investigation. Um, we don't want to rush to any judgment. We'll conduct this investigation as we normally do. If it turns out that we need to effect an arrest, we are willing to do so. At this point, Councilman Felder is not under arrest. Deputy Chief Castro says investigators still need to interview him. And Castro says it's not uncommon in these types of cases for the interview not to have taken place hours after the alleged incident. The car was towed as part of that criminal investigation. Now, it's possible Felder could face a felony charge of failure to stop and render aid. Now, that witness, Valerie Ballard, who you heard from earlier tonight, uh, she says that the 18 year old victim uh, suffered minor injuries. He was treated by EMS on scene and then ultimately taken home by his father. Uh, Ballard also told me that she recognized Councilman Felder because her work warehouse is in his district.